So I learned at a very young age, and as I got older, just, you know, you have to follow the rules of society like anybody, but you can make your own rules for yourself, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and don't be a follower, be a leader. And leader, so yeah. when I met when I met Rui, he was, you know, I just was very um, taken back by how strong-minded, but how free his thinking was. And it wasn't selfish, you know, you have to be strong and you have to be selfish to some extent when you're a leader, when you want to make things happen, but he, he does it for a greater good. He doesn't just do it for himself. And just the fact that it happened, he, he chose to take on Hollywood is where we were able to meet each other. But it's not about making movies. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's about the mindset. I act because it's a dream. I act because I was shy. I act because I like telling stories. Do I like making money? Do I like meeting pretty girls? Do I like driving fancy cars? Do I like traveling the world? Of course I do. But my, my number one passion is to express myself yeah. because that's healing for me. And if I happen to move people out there, that's, that's the reward. Not signing autographs, not yeah, making yeah. money, but when people laugh and cry and feel good because of what I do, that's, that's the bigger blessing in everything. Are you aware of how big your character and your TV show is in countries in Africa like Angola? You know, it's, we, we work so much. It's interesting, you know, being here in Cannes, we're you know, part of France, you know, we're so far away from Los Angeles, so far away from the United States. We work, you know, 10 months out of the year to, to make our show. And we work every day, you know, Monday through Friday, 12 to 16 hours a day. So the studio and people tell us, and, or we meet people on the streets that are from all different parts of the country, or all different parts of the world, and they, oh, Americans, we love your show, it's our favorite show. Mm -hmm. Then I get Japanese people, I get French people, I get African people, I get uh, Australian people, Israeli people. And, and you're like, wow, I'll be at Starbucks just getting coffee. And <laughs> some, somebody will come up to me and go, oh, I love your show, and they'll be from someplace else. And so that's, that's a sign that we're reaching different parts of the country but yeah. we don't realize how big because we're just doing our job you know I go to my job in the morning at six o'clock seven o'clock I come home at nine o'clock ten o'clock I play with my dogs I have a glass of wine I go to sleep I go back to work and I do it again and then it comes on every week and then we look at the ratings and we say okay we're, the, we're this many people are watching us in the United States and this many people are watching us overseas so it's millions and millions of people and that, that number is not real. I mean, we understand millions, but if you try to, if you picture a million people, and then there's 13.5 million people watch us on average every week, that's a lot of people. But you, you, you can't see them. Yeah, you only yeah. see the, the, the statistics on the, the paper. Rates, yeah. So, you know, when, but like being here in Cannes, you know, I've been here for two days, and coming here, I was telling Ilya Josephson and, and Rui Reese, I said, I don't know if, if, and Rui's like, no, people love you, people love you. I'm like, okay, that's nice, people, I, it's I don't true, know. It's true, they love you. I found <laughs> out, you know, I got off the plane and I spent the night in Nice and I went to have dinner and we walked maybe four blocks and everybody, I mean, just in French, and I, I said, je parle français en petit peu, petit peu. <laughs> um, just a little bit. That's pretty uh, good, actually. Well, I say, I, say I, I, I speak French just a little bit because my grandmother, was born in Quebec City, outside of Montreal. So when I was a young boy, I'd go see my grandmother, and she'd say, bonjour, chama, ça va? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, grandma, how you doing? So when I was young in school, um, I could pick either French or Spanish. Now, I live in California, so everybody speaks Spanish. You know, the people that help me with my house, and you know, they speak Spanish, but I don't speak Spanish, except for, you know, you know uh, Andale, and uh, gracias, and uh, trabajo, and you know, little words, right? Um, but anyway, so I, I learned how to speak French. So here in Cannes, I've been saying one paragraph. I've been saying, bonjour, je m'appelle Shamar, um, je parle français un petit peu parce que ma grand-mère habite Quebec City au Canada, au Montreal. <laughs> J'ai tout le français dans l'école quand j'ai 14 ans. That's all I got, that's, that's it. I know, I mean, I know little words, but, but being here um, in Nice and, and now here in Cannes, we went out just to, for dinner and to go to yeah. the disco. And, people from everywhere, all the, you know, men, women, young, old, um, you know, rich, poor, it's like, oh, esprit de criminal, esprit de criminal, <laughs> you know, and, you know, oh, Derek Morgan, and I mean, I'm signing autographs and taking pictures, like, I, everywhere, not just a little bit, like, every 20 feet, somebody say something, so that's very nice, you know, it makes me mm -hmm. feel good, and um, because it, it shows that my hard work is paying off and people like me and like what I'm doing. But it's, it, unless you travel, you don't realize, you know, how far what we're doing reaches and, you, and, and how excited people are. And, and now I get to go home 
and it gives me more confidence and more joy to do my job because so many people, you know, I get to see and touch and feel and talk to people that love the show. So when I go home to, to do the next season, I'm going to try even harder because I know there's so many people that want to watch what we're doing. We